Guys, I could not be more excited for what's in this box. <laughs> All right, this is a special package from Acme Era, who's joined us inside of this project. And if you don't know who they are, they are probably one of the leaders inside of aircraft suspension for aircraft just like mine. Uh, you know, my plane came with bungees and mine are kind of a mess and I needed something. But because I'm experimental, I'm able to put these guys on. They're designed to take a lot of load. Backcountry pilots use these guys all the time. I wanted them so that I could have the most smooth landings I could possibly have inside of this airplane. And no bouncing, which is one of the things that they boast on their website. I will say that uh, they have a little heft to them, but the weight is well worth the performance. These bad boys are probably going to be one of the easiest modifications I'm going to be doing to this airplane. And Acme Aero has complete guides on their website on how to install all of their product. But I'm going to show you me installing it on my airplane and how easy it really is. To get started, I need to be able to get the airplane a little bit off the ground. You, you can't do it with the wheels touching. So I have a solution. I'm going to be using this guy right here. And I have him because I'm going to be working on that guy very, very soon. But I should be able to extend the arm and mount it up here where I have this temporary strap and lift it up just enough to be able to put the new suspension on. And there we have it. That actually worked perfectly. Apologies, I just realized my mic wasn't on for some of that. All right, a little bit more about this guy before we get on the ground. Now you see here, I have an offset bushing. This is in case you don't have enough room inside of your candy to be able to install this bad boy. Otherwise, if you do, you can order a centric bushing. Now the installation, you want to have this nipple right here pointed that way or, or down for the installation because that's the correct orientation to install these. Now on the other side, there is an additional bushing and you wanna make sure you don't lose track of it or the other one for that matter. But once installed, you wanna take a three quarter inch wrench here and here and tighten this to make sure that it is secure. The first step is I need to remove this temporary piece of metal. And for you guys, that would probably be a bungee or some other suspension system that you're currently using. But you would just undo the nuts on the back side and remove the bolts. Simple. Right, so to install this properly, you wanna make sure that the valve is pointed this way or down, that this carries through with the cam V, and that the Acme arrow, you can see the logo and it's not upside down. So we'll go ahead and slide that guy in there. Then all I gotta do over here is pick this bad boy up, slide that in, and there we go. It really is that simple. And I'm using temporary hardware here because I still have to fix this up over here. But if you were installing it permanently, you would be torquing the nuts down to 24 foot pounds. And there we have it. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. Back up right here. Oh, and you can probably notice that uh, these wheels are uh, uh, a little cambered, but that's because the Acme Aero Black Ops are tuned to your airplane and its needs. Now, I don't have my engine on right now. I don't have the wings on. And so once I get all of those on, this should settle down just a little bit more and that should look perfect. But these do have a little bit of adjustment built into them so that uh, we can make it sit however we want. Now, I don't know if I'm heavy enough, but I'm going to get inside of here and see if we can get the suspension to move. Okay, uh, I'm up here on the airplane. I got the camera set up. Oh, I feel bouncing. <laughs> Guys, that is incredible. These things are going to be amazing. And I promise that once we get the airplane up and running, we're going to do a full test of these guys. We'll have cameras mounted outside the airplane. You'll be able to see exactly what they can do on an airplane, not in the back country. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one. Fun fact, this is actually off an airplane that's older than mine, a 1937 Waco. My uh, welder gave this to me to, you know, do this. <laughs>